I've been talking about investing this entire year on the channel and I finally have some good news for you. And the fifth trap that a lot of women fall into is the trap of not- Hi friend, how are you? I hope you're doing so super well. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time watching this channel, hello, I'm Vanessa and on this channel, we talk all things earning more and building wealth. But I wanna start saying we talk all things purpose, impact, and income. Which one do you like better? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section. Today we're gonna talk about the five traps, the five money traps that women somehow fall into over and over again. Some of us have fallen into one or two of them and we've picked ourselves back up. Some of us might even be faced with these traps right now and this might be your sign to not fall. But wherever you are in your life or your financial journey, this is a safe space. There is no shame. The old version of you did what she could with the information that she had. But the version of you that's sitting right here and watching this video is gonna be more empowered because now you would know better and you would do better. So it's okay, it's okay. Even if you're in one of these traps right now, it's fine. Let's just get into it, let's learn together. And if you have any questions at all, let me know in the comment section. The first trap is giving full financial control to somebody else. One of the leading causes of domestic abuse is financial abuse. When I was a kid, I had an aunt who was a stay-at-home mom and she never worked. She never made any money. Her husband made all the money and he was actually super abusive. But there was nothing she could do because she had no money. She needed him to survive. So she just stayed in that situation, giving full financial control to somebody else. And somebody else doesn't even have to be a spouse. It could be a business partner. Partner, it could be a parent it could even be a financial advisor you literally want to be in a situation where you are on top of your money number two now if you can be there for your family members be there for your friends but don't be impulsive about it you want to plan it ahead of anything that might come up so that there's a limit on how much you give if you have to give. So for me, what that looks like is a sinking fund. Before a new year rolls around, I premeditate how much money I'm willing and able to give away as gifts. And that could go to family members or friends. The third money trap is lifestyle creep. Some financial advisors even call it lifestyle inflation. That is when your income increases and you instantly increase your lifestyle so much that at the end of the day, your accounts don't even reflect the fact that you're making more money. Girl, when I tell you I fell flat for this one, when I got my first internship with a Fortune 500 company, I thought I was Oprah. Imagine being a college kid who only has ever worked odd jobs on campus, and then suddenly you have this internship that's paying you real money. Girl, I spent that money recklessly. It happens to the best of us. You make a little bit of money, and you move to a nicer apartment, get a nicer car, get a nicer phone, increase your lifestyle so much that at the end of every month what you have left after paying your bills is not more than you used to have when you made less money number four there's a lot of data to support the fact that motherhood takes a toll on a woman's earnings and this is something that happens to women at all levels of education take Michelle Obama for example I was 70% in and he was doing 30% because of the choices that I made in the terms of how I wanted our family to look. Yeah. I had to take my foot off of my career gas pedal, uh, never putting on the brake, but slowing up a little bit. And we know this story because she was the first lady, right? But a lot of everyday women like you and me are making these decisions every single day. Sometimes that looks like women taking less demanding jobs. Sometimes that looks like women becoming stay-at-home moms all together. So we have to have a plan. We have to have either money saved up to take care of us during those years, or we can build background income streams. And you might be wondering what a background income stream is. I got you. The term passive income has been used so much that I think it's lost its meaning. People are beginning to think that passive income means money that you just get for doing absolutely nothing. You have to provide some kind of value to generate passive income, right? But the reason why it's called passive is because you generate the value once and it continues to pay you over time. So the income is not directly related to the time you spend working. That's why we call it passive. So for example, if you have videos on YouTube, even when you're out of your studio and living your life, 
you will still be getting paid if people are watching. So that's why I call it background income. It's not exactly passive, but it does run in the background. So if you don't have kids yet, you wanna start making a plan, a backup plan for your finances for when that time comes. And the fifth trap that a lot of women fall into is the trap of not investing because of fear or not investing because of lack of knowledge or not investing because we think it's too complicated. I've been talking about investing this entire year on the channel and I finally have some good news for you. We finally booked some of my favorite female financial planners who would be teaching all about investing inside of the membership when it launches. So if you want to level up your mindset, your finances in good company, like in a community of awesome women who are on the same journey as you and go ahead and sign up for the wait list so you do not miss when the membership finally goes live because I know you've been waiting all year for the membership but we're coming we're coming we're coming I had to first get this channel to a certain point and I think we're there now and now that we're at a place where I feel comfortable I'm beginning to feel comfortable pouring my heart into the next phase of this journey and I'm so excited to have you join along the membership wait list is down in the description box I'm going to send the announcement through email all of the announcements will be made through email so if you don't want to miss that if you don't want to miss any of the classes once we launch then girl do yourself a favor and sign up in the description box I hope you found this video helpful as usual remember that I'm rooting for you so please do not stop rooting for yourself and until next time please take care mm -hmm.